in Delta Take 4, Marker. Roll on camera. And action. Wait, let, let's, let, let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try it. Three Veils is a film about three Middle Eastern women living in the U.S., each one with their own story. Uh, and as the film progresses, connections are revealed between the, the three women. Uh, and it deals with many important and sometimes controversial subjects um, that, uh, that not only do Arab women deal with, but also in women internationally deal with as well. The film opens up with Layla. She is about to get married. She's in a marriage that her, her family has arranged and as the date gets closer and closer she starts having doubts about is this really what she wants, is this really the path that she wants to take. And it follows to the second story uh, who is Amira and Amira is a very very devout Muslim and she's dealing with her deep repressions and uh, feelings towards women and she's grappling with that. And then finally, the third story is Nikki, who is also dealing with some issues because of a death in the family. And how that translates out is uh, through her promiscuity and through her, you know, various uh, indulgences of alcohol and such things. It's a very important film. It's a very intense film, um, but it's also a very true film. And that's the thing that I hope that audiences see, is, is, is the truth that sort of penetrates. I mean, it's one of those films that I think will be hard for a lot of people and be really comforting for some people, and I think there's something in it for everyone. And I think it'll really force people to look at themselves and, and you know, at the very least take something from it in the sense of even whether it be their own life or seeing someone else in a different light. I always wanted to do something about women and when I read the script, Rula wrote it in a very beautiful way, I couldn't stop crying. Regarding my role, I also always wanted to do something about girls who have a difficult life, like Amira. I don't think anything should be taboo at this point, especially if it's if we're discussing something. We're not trying to hurt anyone. We're not trying to, uh, you know, make anybody uncomfortable. That's not the point. The point is that these things are happening. I mean, if ultimately, if this film could even, you know, make one person feel a little bit better about their own situation, great, accomplished. You know, it's intelligent new story. So I'm expecting a lot. Either they will like it that much, or they will refuse it, and this is good. Uh, I like the edges. I like the edges. Cinema doesn't need traditional stories anymore, I think. If people want to see this as uh, something that is negative, they are absolutely wrong. This is not our intentions. The intentions of the film is to create dialogue and create discussions about these subject matters. Yes, these are issues that are taboo, controversial, but you know what? It's time to talk about them. It's time to start addressing these things because they, they do happen. They do happen. You know, we lost a bunch of light, as you can tell. The sun wasn't on our favor. Is that is that even a phrase? Wasn't on our favor. But the performances were great. Uh, we're gonna place this light. We're about to dance. <laughs> Amir is about to dance. This is a club scene. This is where we're gonna get jiggy with it. Is that a copyrighted word? Okay, cut while we get a marker. Cut from the top. For a story like this, it was important to find the right people. And so the, the process of selecting the, the DP and, and finding the, the, the proper cast was absolutely essential. And we spent a lot of time trying to, to find the right people to work. 
Uh, my association with this film uh, is, uh, goes back to a, a, a movie that I did with Ahmed, our producer, uh, a couple of years ago. So when, when he called and asked me to do this, I, I jumped at the opportunity. Of course, I read the script, but I was very confident that Ahmed would put a, a great group of people together and that this would be some, an experience that I would enjoy. The caliber of, of talent that, that I was able to work with was, was really something that, that really humbled me a lot. Um, and I'm really, really happy that I got the opportunity to work with, with the cast that I did. You have to really love what you're doing, and we do. And I think you see that, and I think you, you see that everyone's here for the right reasons, and um, have their heart into it. And they're all really trying to tell this story in a really careful, specific, yet moving and honest way. It's just a, a story that needs to be told. And, and everybody working on the film wanted to tell that story. And that was very essential. And I'm, I'm grateful to everybody who did come on board. I have to see the beautiful movie. It's such, like Don't Tell, like crochet, this movie. I love it, I love it. It's a very great experience. And I had such a good time. I don't want, I don't want it even to end. <laughs> I hope people will enjoy it and I hope I hope it will um, touch their hearts. I hope they will like it. Uh, I feel like I have nothing to fear. The only time to be afraid is when you're not telling the truth. I'm really, really proud of this film and I hope the audiences uh, connect with it and that people are able to think about things that they didn't think before, talk about things that they didn't talk about before, and in the long run, I hope that they are entertained. And cut. Good. All right, one more time.